What's up? It's me, DWC, and today I'm going to be doing my 2016 Stanley Cup playoff predictions. So let's get right into it in the Western Conference, as I'm more familiar with the Western Conference. We're going to start out with Dallas versus Minnesota. Now I think Dallas is definitely going to win the series. The Wild might put up a good fight with Dubnik and their defense, but I think Dallas absolutely has the better offense, and I think their defense will be able to hold its own and pull out a win for them, probably in six games. On now to the other 1 versus 4 matchup in the Western Conference. This is probably my personal favorite matchup in the first round, with the Anaheim Ducks versus the Nashville Predators. And I think that the Predators are going to pull off an upset, and they're going to surprise a lot of people in this matchup. Yes, Anaheim's been on fire as of late, and you usually want to pick the hot team going into the playoffs, but I'm not sure what it is about this Nashville team, but I just really have a gut feeling that they're going to perform well, and I really like that team they have in Nashville. I think they're a solid team all around. Their defense and goaltending is really good, as well as they have solid forwards. Their forwards are a lot better this year than they have been in past years, so I think they're going to do really well, and I think they're going to manage to pull off a win in this series, most likely in six or seven games. On to the Chicago-St. Louis series now. Now the Blackhawks, in my opinion, are going to win this series. The St. Louis Blues never really seem to be able to beat the Blackhawks in the playoffs, and the Blues are always hyped up come playoff time, it seems, in the past few years. But they've never really been able to do anything special. And yes, they got more goal scoring this year with Tarasenko playing out of his mind, putting in a lot of goals for them. And their defense is still super strong. But I think overall Chicago obviously has the better team here. Chicago still has really good offense with Kane Panarin, who can match up against St. Louis's top players offensively without a problem. St. Louis might have the bigger team, and they might play tougher hockey, and that might wear the Blackhawks down a little bit. But defense, St. Louis has the edge there. But in goal, Chicago has the edge. So that's two out of three positions. In my opinion, I'm giving Chicago the edge. So I think... The Blackhawks are going to beat the Blues again this year, most likely in six games. So now we have the final first round series in the Western Conference between the two California teams, the San Jose Sharks and the Los Angeles Kings. Breaking down these teams, they look pretty even. Goaltending, obviously, LA has a big advantage there with having Jonathan Quick versus Reimer and Jones. LA definitely has the advantage in goal, but defense is fairly even. San Jose might even get a little bit of an edge, but I think overall it's pretty even. The top guys on D for the Sharks obviously being Brent Burns and Vlasic, and then on the Kings you have Drew Doughty, of course, along with Alec Martinez and Jake Muzzin. And the Kings also have a lot of depth, solid players on their decor and throughout their whole roster, really. So I think the Kings are going to pull out the win in this series. Offensively, you have the Kings having Kopitar, Lucic, Jeff Carter, Dustin Brown, Marion Gabrick, Tyler Toffoli. That's just a lot of names that are proven NHL stud players. Compared to the Sharks team, which again is really strong offensively with Couture and Pavelski and Thornton and Marlowe. But I just think that the overall team that the Kings have is stronger than the team that... The Sharks have, so I'm going to be going with the Kings to win this series. I'd like to see this series go seven games, but I think the Kings will probably end it in six. On to the Eastern Conference now. We have the Capitals versus the Flyers as the one versus four. And I think, without a doubt, the Capitals are going to win this probably in five games, honestly. I think this is going to be the quickest series, especially on paper. The Capitals had an amazing year, and I really like the Capitals team. Offensively, they're looking really good. With Ovechkin, Backstrom, Oshi, Kuznetsov, and Justin Williams, who always seems to perform really well in the playoffs. In goal, they obviously have Holpe, who has been the best goaltender all season long. And then on defense, they're looking good with guys like Carlson, Orpik, Niskanen, and Alsner. So I think they have a really strong team overall. And I think they're going to do really well this year and probably pull out a win against the Flyers in five games. On to the other one versus four. Again, I'm going to be picking the one seed here in the Eastern Conference with the Panthers beating out the Islanders. The Islanders do have Akposo, Tavares, but I think the Florida team looks a lot better this season. 
with Jager, Huberto, Hoodler. Their offense could use a little bit of work overall, but their defense is pretty decent with guys like Goodbranson and Ekblad. And in goal, having Luongo, I think overall their team is looking pretty good going into the playoffs. And I think they're definitely going to win at least one series. And I think they're going to win it against the Islanders in six games. On now to the Lightning versus Red Wings. We have Tampa being the two seed and the Red Wings being the three seed. I think the Lightning are going to win this series. I just overall like the Lightning's roster better. With them having guys like Stamkos and Kucherov and Tyler Johnson and Palat. And then on defense, having Hedman and Strahlman, Coburn and Garrison, as well as having Valtteri Filpula and Ryan Callahan. I think overall their roster is looking really solid this year going into the playoffs. And with Big Ben Bishop in net, I think the Lightning are going to come out on top over the Red Wings in this series. Probably in six or seven games. I'm going to put in six for now, but I might end up changing that to seven before the series gets underway tomorrow. And the last first round matchup we have is the Penguins versus the Rangers. Penguins being the two seed, the Rangers being the three seed. And I think I'm going to have to go with the three seed Rangers in this series. I know the Penguins have been playing really well as of late. And as I said earlier, in the Anaheim National matchup, you usually want to pick the hot team. But I think overall the Rangers just have more depth in their team than the Penguins do. Both on offense and defense in my opinion. And I think... The Rangers also get the advantage having Lundqvist in net over Flurry. I do, however, think this is going to be a good series, a tight one. But I think the Rangers are going to come away with the win in probably six or seven games. I see this series possibly going the distance, but I think the Rangers are going to pull it off against this Penguins team. On to the second round now. We'll start out in the Eastern Conference with the All-Florida matchup between the Panthers and the Lightning. I think the Lightning are going to come out on top in this matchup against the Panthers. I think they have a better team overall in my opinion with forward depth especially and I think their defense is a little bit stronger as well. And then you have Bishop versus Luongo. Luongo might get a little bit of an edge there but I think overall the Lightning have the better team and I think they're going to win this series. I'd like to see it go seven being an in-state matchup but I think it'll probably end in six with the Lightning winning. Up now to the Capitals versus Rangers series. Now, if this series happens, I think it's going to be a really good series to watch. You have the Capitals, who won the President's Trophy this season, being the best team in the league all year round. You have Holtby versus Lundqvist. I think that's going to be a great goaltending matchup. Holtby might get the advantage there with playing the way he has this season. I think that undoubtedly he's been the best goaltender all year long, so I think he might get an advantage there. And then... Offensively, I think the Capitals again have the advantage, and defensively, if healthy and McDonough's back by this point, the Rangers definitely have the advantage on defense, in my opinion. But overall, I think the Capitals are going to win, again, probably in six or seven games. I would like to see every series last as long as possible. I really like long, hard-fought series, and I'm excited to see some this year in the playoffs. On now to the Western Conference second-round matchups. We have the Stars versus the Blackhawks. And I think this is going to be a decent matchup, but I think the Blackhawks are going to win. The Blackhawks have performed well in the postseason the past however many years. They won three cups in recent years. And I think this year they look even better possibly with Panarin and Kane playing so well. And I think they just have the overall stronger team compared to the Stars. And they'll probably win this series in six games, maybe even five but probably six. In our final second round matchup, we have the Nashville Predators versus the LA Kings. Now, I was saying earlier how much I like this Predators team, and I think they're going to perform really well and shock a lot of people this season in the playoffs. But against this Kings team, I think they're going to lose. I think the Kings team overall is just too deep and too strong for the Predators to be able to handle. Now, on the defensive core, I think the Predators have a bit of an edge over the Kings. Just my opinion there, as the Predators have two superstar defenders, and the Kings only have one, albeit it is Drew Doughty, but Doughty Weber, pretty even. And they have Roman Yossi, who's definitely better than LA's second best defenseman. But in goal, you have Rene and Quick, which will be a really good goaltending matchup if we get to there. But I think Quick has the advantage in that matchup. And then offense, I think... The Kings' overall forward depth is stronger than the Predators, so I think the Kings are going to come out on top in this series. Again, hopefully the series lasts really long, but probably six games, I would say. So we're down to the conference finals, and we have a three versus a two and a one versus a two. So we'll start out with the three versus the two, 
and I think that the Kings are going to beat the Blackhawks in this series. It was really hard to make this decision because it's two teams that have won multiple cups recently, but I think the Kings overall team is just a little bit better than the Blackhawks. You have Crawford versus Quick, and I think Quick is absolutely better than Crawford. And defense, the Blackhawks might have a bit of an edge with Seabrook, Keith, Yalmerson compared to Doughty, Muzzin, and Martinez. But on forwards, I think the Kings just have more depth offensively that they can score from with Carter, Kopitar, Gabarik, Toffoli, Lucic, and you can just keep on going and going. Dustin Brown. Like, I think the Kings' overall depth on their team offensively for forwards is just really good, and I think they're going to pull out the win in this series. If this series happens, hopefully it goes seven games. I think that'd be a crazy series to watch. And then we have the Capitals versus the Lightning. Now, I think this is, again, going to be a really good series. You got Stamkos versus Ovechkin, but I think the Capitals are going to pull it out. I think offensively, they're pretty evenly matched. The Capitals might get a little bit of an edge, but I think defensively, the Capitals have a little bit more depth defensively. The Lightning also have depth, but beyond Hedman, I think that their defenders aren't as good as Washington's overall defense. Hedman kind of pulls it back even, but I think overall, the Capitals team is just really good. And then you have Holpe versus Bishop, and I think Holpe again gets the advantage here. So I think the Capitals are going to win probably in six games again. It seems to be the overall standard for me to pick six games for series because I think every series usually lasts six games unless something crazy happens and one team really outperforms the other. And in the Stanley Cup final, I have a one versus a two in the Capitals versus the Kings. And my overall champion, I think, is going to be pretty popular this year for Stanley Cup predictions. But we're going to break down the series again here. Forwards, pretty even. Maybe the Kings. I think the Capitals have probably better forwards with Ovechkin and Backstrom leading the way. That kind of edges out the Kings, Kopitar, and Carter, in my opinion at least. Now, Kopitar and Carter will be better defensively than Ovechkin and Backstrom will be offensively. So maybe they can even this out. And then you have defense. I think the Capitals team defensively. Obviously, for the Kings, you have Doughty, but behind Doughty, it's not as strong again. The same thing I said for the Lightning, whereas the Capitals have Carlson, Orpik, Niskanen, Alsner. I think the four of them edge out Doughty and then everyone else, in my opinion at least. And then you have Quick versus Holby, an amazing matchup in net if it gets there. But I think, again, Holtby playing the way he has, if he's healthy, if he stays healthy throughout the playoffs, is going to pull it out for the Capitals. And I think Ovechkin, if he gets to the Stanley Cup Finals, like I'm predicting he will, he's going to play crazy good. And I think, overall, Ovechkin will win his first Stanley Cup this season. I think this series, if it happens, is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be one of the best Stanley Cup Finals we can watch. And the Kings are absolutely going to put up a crazy good fight. But I think I just can't look past the Capitals this year. I think they've just been too good all season long. And my prediction for the Stanley Cup champions in 2016 is the Washington Capitals. So let me know how you think the playoffs are going to go in the comments. We'll see how it plays out soon. Starting tonight when I put this video up actually. We have three series starting Wednesday night. So... Looking forward to a good year of playoff hockey, even without the Canadian teams. And I'll see you next time.